everybody, I'm going to do my intro right here. I hope you don't mind. It was important to get this done this morning on a few things with the Shannon Watt videos because she came to me last night and told me that she wanted to talk again. Very important, she said. I don't know if you people know this. I am actually a medium. I've been working with spirits since 1975-ish. Spirit box thing was recent for me maybe the last year or so when they first started coming out. And it was a way for me to bring technology to people who were kind of on the fence about mediaism and the spirit communication. I don't know if you guys want me to do some other work here, if you have other ideas, I, could, I am very open to working with that. Anyway, she came to me last night and she said she wanted to do some work with the, with the spirit boxes to clear a few things up and I'm right there for it. She actually picked this box, so we're gonna work with this box. She wanted to come forward. She was very upset, she said, that her family, her family actually wanted to let her husband, Chris, off the hook, which I was surprised. I thought that that would be something she would be happy with, but apparently she's not. So let's see what she has to say. She's lined up here and she's ready to give us some ideas. I am going to ask her questions that we talked about and that she wanted to answer. So let's see how it goes, okay? Uh, enough talking, yes. Okay, Shannon, I know that you're with me, and I know that you're here, and you wanted to talk on the Echo Vox, that you, that you picked this box particularly because you felt that you would be able to make it through it. Why did you pick this box in particular? Shannon, what do you want to say to people? spoke to you last night you were very angry with the fact that your husband gave this episode this act of crying in his, in the court and acting acting like he was so so sorry when you know you said that in his heart it was all an act Is it true that that's what you felt like? Did you feel angry? how he was reacting. Last night you told me you wished he would have manned up and taken responsibility, true responsibility, for what he did to your children. Last night, you told me that you'll never forgive him no matter how hard you try. Whenever you think of seeing the eyes of your children, seeing the fear on their face when the daddy they loved did what he did to them. Is that what you really told me? Is that how you feel? Great. 
Did you did you also tell me that it sickened you where he put their bodies? The, the, Did you tell me the disrespect that he showed them was heart-wrenching, was one of the most evil feelings, evil things you felt he did? making a lot of statements for you on based on what you told me last night. Maybe I should let you make your own statements. How do you feel about your parents' reaction to his guilty plea and to what he did in court? feel like you could go into the light to a place where you would have, where you would learn to forgive him Are you with your children now? Or have you let them, did you let, did you let them go into the light and you stay behind? for revenge on your husband. Is there anything I can do to help you?
session right now? Maybe do more sessions in the future. Do you want to talk about things in the future again? How, how often how often should we come back and talk to see how you're go, how it's going for you? sounds good. Why don't we end this here and we'll talk again when that time comes. How's that? And I'll check to see how things are going. I hope you feel better soon. Okay. I'm going to count backwards from five. And that'll give you a chance to say anything you want to say at the end of the session. And at the end of five, I'm going to say goodbye and see you soon. We'll talk again. And if you need to talk to me any sooner, you know how to reach me. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Goodbye. I really wasn't expecting that. If you're a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Hit the little bell so you get notifications. Share this with your friends in social media. I don't know what to say after that video. Let everybody know. Share it with your friends. It's really, I don't know what you call it mind-blowing, um, terrifying, uh, creepy. I guess I'll make another one next week. See ya. Bye.